Hello all. I want to quickly talk about the importance of entities and environments and how you can use them to kind of hack your way into being more productive. Let's do it. I'm sure you notice when you're at work or at the office, your mindset is completely shifted. You're working on completely different things than when you're at home. Even if you are on your work computer at home, you feel odd, you feel different, you feel like you have to be doing something else than if you're on maybe your personal computer at work. You're in a separate entity, but in a different environment. You may notice that if you do have to take some work home with you, you're not as productive as when you're at the office, even though you may be on the same computer. You also may notice that if you do have to take some work home with you, but you have to work on your personal computer while still at your home, you're similarly unproductive because you're in a different environment working on a separate entity. We hear a lot of people saying nowadays, oh, I only use my iPad for consumption or for these tasks or for writing notes. I only use my iPhone for Twitter. If I go onto Twitter on a desktop, it just feels weird. I can't be as productive. And I only use my desktop for certain tasks and my laptop for other tasks. Meanwhile, I have a separate laptop for my work tasks and a separate laptop for my personal tasks. The logic behind this is that you are used to doing one thing with a certain device in a certain environment. This is why you also come across people who say that a certain album might remind them of a vacation that they took or a psychological breakdown that they had. That album will signify those times and give them reminders, same way that smell might trigger some emotions or past experiences for you. Using this to your advantage, you can allocate a certain device. You can say, this iPad is going to be just for reading. That way you can force yourself to just be in front of that iPad a certain day and just read the entire day away and consume all this knowledge. Similarly, you can take a certain laptop that you have devoted for programming or for writing your American novel and say to yourself, I'm going to lock myself in a cabin with only this laptop. And since I am not used to browsing Facebook, since I'm not used to consuming media on this, I have to write. Now, I understand not all of us have the luxury of having multiple devices to dedicate to one certain task. So how do you create an environment and an entity to get something done when you only have a limited amount of devices? A lot of people who work from home experience the same thing. How do they separate the home tasks from picking up the kids or watching them and taking care of home things, a leaky faucet, and you have to get work done as well when you're on your home computer. It's very stressful when you have to manage and juggle multiple jobs that normally require multiple entities, but you're in one environment, you're stuck in one home. The way to combat this is to, as we previously talked about, Cal Newport's way of kind of scheduling time, scheduling out these blocks of time so that you know from this hour to this hour, you're gonna be working on this one thing and you look at a calendar and see that block of time, that block of time, is your entity that you have to be doing one certain task within. Think of yourself in a new dimension when you're looking at your calendar and you see that from two to four, you're working on your novel. So from that time, that block of time, you are in the entity of your novel. Don't think of it as a physical space. Don't think of it as a physical smell or some outside entity that's a forcing function for you, but instead a virtual and manufactured entity that you created for yourself that you can adhere to. Ultimately, productivity is all about tricking yourself to get more things done. However, you have to allocate your certain devices and devote certain rooms in a house, perhaps, or even getting an office. However, you have to manage that to get more done is what you should be doing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the corresponding blog post on nickcollabro.com. Now get to work.